Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Someone reached out to me the other day and suggested that I make a video to share what I bought from Morocco. As some of you guys know, I just got back from Morocco two days ago and yes, this is my luggage and yes, I did not unpack yet. It's just not the type of person I am. Got home from the airport and died immediately, so it's still there. I was not very sure about the idea at first. I asked on Instagram and so many of you said yes and they got so excited because they wanted to see what I got from home. Usually I think that I'm not a crazy shopper when I go home, at least compared to a few people that I know. But just going through the list in my mind, I think that I bought a lot of things. You guys let me know what you think. Okay, so let's start here. I do have uh, a lot of my clothes are still in there. You also see that there is a, a wrap around the luggage because when I got to Marrakesh, I realized that the luggage ripped. And so I was very concerned, but I was able to wrap it and it stayed safe and it got here with no problems. I did not plan this out, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. But let's start with the item number one. This is a menwear i got for alex so it's really warm it's handmade and you would see a lot of men wearing it in winter time especially in the mountains uh, it does a very very good job of keeping you warm so people would usually wear just you know their regular wear and throw this one on top of it alex tried it on yesterday I think he really liked it and he started calling it a potato sack, which I think is really funny. So this one is unisex. Uh, it's not common for women to wear them, at least based on what I saw, but uh, men do wear them a lot. Uh, this is handmade, at least that's what I was told. Uh, but I think this is a nice outfit to, to have uh, in winter, especially if you are in the mountains. I did see a lot of hikers who would throw one on top of their hiking gear if they are hiking in the mountains and they want to, to stay a little bit insulated. So yeah, so that's item number one that I got from home and that was a gift for Alex. So let's see what we have here. Oh yeah. Everyone's favorite drink. That is a soda drink from Morocco called Hawaii. Uh, we say Hawaii, not Hawaii, just after the island, but we say Hawaii. This is my personal favorite soda drink. I'm not even a soda drinker, but when I see this one, I just can't stop my myself. It's a tropical drink. It's really tasty. Um, I was not able to find it here in Arizona, but I know in uh, bigger cities like Chicago, New York, San Francisco, there are some Moroccan or Arabic stores who sell them, but uh, I got two of them. Uh, and I want Alex to try some of it too. I don't think he had before. So that's my favorite, favorite drink. And so I'm really excited to at least have two for right now. So that's Hawaii. Okay, we got a chess set. That is also a gift for, for Alex that I got him. This is a handmade chess set and I got him this as a Christmas gift because he collects chess sets around the world. So far, I think he had one from Peru, from Mexico, Romania, that's all I remember. I, I know that he has a few more, but this is um, a Moroccan handmade one. It's made of cedar, so the smell is really, really strong. And then these pieces are also handmade. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice uh, chest set. It's, uh, the size is really nice too, and we can just have it outside in, in display. So that's uh, that. And I got everything from my hometown because I did not travel anywhere. I didn't go to Marrakech. I didn't go to Estawera. I usually do when I travel for a longer period of time, but this visit was not even 10 days. So everything that I got was from my hometown. All right, next one. You guys are going to get a lot of this one. I don't know how to call it, but this tool right here. This is so very handy dandy. Uh, I do have a little grill outside in the backyard and I think this is going to help me just to maintain the fire and keep it up. And even if I don't use it uh, with the grill, I probably can just have a nail on the wall and I can hang it as a decoration piece. I bought this one for probably $6, not even $10, yeah, probably $6, $7. Yeah, so I really like the size of it. They come in different sizes. There are so very tiny ones and there are huge, large decorative ones. But I think this is a good size that I can either use with my little grill or I can hang in the wall. So there you go. 
Okay, this is the a tea set that I got from the airport in Marrakesh. Let me open this. This uh, brand is called Chaba. I got it from uh, Marrakesh Airport. And to be honest, I was more drawn to the box than the, the set of tea or the flavors of the tea. So I was told that inside, they showed me that there are four different teas with four different flavors. One of them is probably green tea. The other one is jasmine. I don't remember what the other ones were, but this is what it looks like. So there are four of them with different colors. And I honestly was, like I said, I really like the box. So I think even when I use the teas, I'm probably gonna keep the box and use it to store something. So let's see what it has. Okay, so this is more of the information about directions and where they are. But I think, let's see what flavors are these. Ah, it doesn't really say. Oh, they are named after cities. So this one has Marrakesh, Rabat, Casablanca, and Fez. I think the green one, when I smelled it, whoop, I have a mess now. Yeah, this smells the closest to the Moroccan minty that we make at home. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited to try these uh, new flavors. But I'm more excited to keep the box. I think it's really cute with the colors and everything. So that's that. Okay, let's keep on going. All right, next. Okay, this is some uh, canned fish with the vegetable oil. I got probably four to five of them. And these are not my favorite, to be honest, but my mom was insisting and she probably bought me 24 pieces, but I ended up grabbing at least four of them. So this can make for a good salad. Uh, I probably would make some tomato with the lettuce and olives and then just throw these uh, filet of uh, uh, fish on top of them and it can make for a nice salad for lunch or for dinner so this is that there are a couple of things that i got and i was concerned uh, that they might be asking me uh, when i go through the, the customs for the baggage check but they saw me and they said okay you're good to go they didn't even check the bag and i was like yay that's awesome okay what else do we have here Okay, so I got this little bag. So what I'm gonna do with this one, it's also handmade, it's really cute. Uh, what I'm going to do th with this one, I'm going to probably have a nail on the pantry and then I'm going to hang it and I will use it to store um, garlic. That's what my mom does. So I will have a bunch of garlic in here. I think it's a little bit too big for garlic, but uh, but let's see. So that's the one thing that I can think about right now. It's really cute. It was it was very cheap. I don't remember exactly. Probably three dollars, two dollars. So that's the this bag. And I also from the same person, I purchased a set of uh, wooden spoons. These spoons are. I remember my grandparents and even my mom and dad. They used them to to drink to eat or drink drink eat whatever so to have soup you just use them as spoons and uh, they smell really good so these are wooden spoons they are also handmade i got a set of four so probably i will keep some and i will give some to to friends and such every time i go i bring at least two or four of them so that's that and then i got this cute little um honey thing i don't know what it's called but just to grab some honey i got three of them i think that they're very cute i never had one before so this is really cute and i think this is done okay so close 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 all right i got oh and i got this little thing in here if i have any hot dish that i want to put in the table usually for tagines if i have a hot tagine i don't want it i don't want it i don't want to put it directly on the table i would use this one as a tray and i think it's really cute i used to have one before i don't know where it is probably just with moving and such i lost it and then i got a set of four wallets oh they smell real real good this is pure leather it's also handmade 
I'm probably gonna keep one for me but these are just the little things that I get for for friends and family here in the US if I want to give them some gifts so I picked the pink one orange green and just beige or camel color so they really I wish I can share with you guys the smell the smell of this one and the smell of the cedar chest set oh it's like a dream these are real cute they are probably it says Morocco and it's got a camel in here two palm trees so you have this little section for coins and then right here you can save all of your I don't know credit cards probably ID and there you go um, I'm gonna end up keeping the the pink one so let's see well, let me know if you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, just give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the description box and tell me if this is a lot for a short visit to Morocco. Okay, next up are these two pieces of cloth. I don't know how to call them. In Morocco, we call them keys. So keys is a piece of cloth that goes inside of your hand and then you would use it when you're taking a shower to scrub all of the dead skin. So let me, I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit. I got three of them. I got two that are red and a green one. So this would go, we would do this at least in Morocco when we're taking a, uh, a shower we, we would do this ritual of scrubbing your dead skin off of your skin uh, once a week I would say on an average so it would go inside of your hand you're taking a shower then you apply uh, a special soap that I also brought with me we'll talk about it in a little bit and then you would scrub like this of course it's going to be wet when you are scrubbing but you would scrub all of the dead skin and there will be a bit of pieces of dead skin coming out of your body so I don't do this all of the time to be honest in Morocco it used to be a thing we just go um, to the bathhouse every week and do it and it feels real real good you feel so very relaxed your skin becomes so very smooth but here just every now and then so I got a red one I got a green one I think I have an extra one over there but let's move this one to the side and we're grooving so this one right here is the same concept the only difference is this piece has two handles and I can use it to scrub my back it's actually my first time trying this usually back home if you go to the bathhouse someone else is going to scrub your back obviously it's not a thing here so I have to do it on my own so I would use this piece of cloth I'm really excited to try it I have not before but I have heard great things about it okay so that's that moving on next to a summer dress also known as the gandora that's how we call them back home so i got two of them i got one for myself and then one for a friend of mine this is a cute nice comfortable summer dress especially when it's really hot if you go to marrakesh you will see that a lot of locals and even tourists they choose to wear them during summer they have or come in all sorts of colors i chose uh, white because I want to also wear it as a beach wear if I go to the beach uh, But they are very cheap not even a hundred dollars. I would say between five dollars up until hundred dollars No, no, what am I saying between five dollars up to ten dollars <laughs> not a hundred dollars So it really depends on the quality some of them are thick some of them uh, are thin This is a thin one just because I want to wear it for the summer. So that's uh, that's the gandora There are also some for for men as well, but uh, uh, different design. So this one is really common. It's the most popular Moroccan wear between, you know, young ladies, I would say. So that's the one I got. I got a pink one for my friend. I don't want to unwrap it, but let me show you. So that's the pink one. I know that she likes pink. So here you go. They come in all type of colors. Green, blue, Okay, so that's with the dresses. I'm really excited for this one. I already have a pink one. Let's move you there. I don't know how much I have left. I'm hoping not a lot. Ooh, look at that. Aw, so that was the gift from uh, one of our relatives. She got me a box of uh, cookies. 
I hope that's what they're called, cookies. Okay, so they're like cookies, but they are real small, tiny ones. Uh, they are a, uh, they are something that we make in my hometown, in uh, Safi, in our region. I don't know if they are really common in uh, other cities around Morocco, but these are small little tiny circles. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We call it kek, little kek. Some of them are big. When you go to uh, just, you know, any other city in Morocco, you would probably try kek and it's a, a wider circle. This one is so very tiny and it's a specialty of my hometown, Safi, and it's really tasty. So usually we would serve it in a little bowl with some pistachio dates and all type of nuts and it's really nice. So she got me, this is one of our relatives, she got me two boxes but I couldn't bring both of them so I only got one and oh my god it smells real good. Mm -hmm. The only problem with this one is it has to be kept uh, or stored properly otherwise it gets cold and it starts losing its crunchiness so i'm gonna have to move this somewhere else and make sure that it's not exposed to to the elements <laughs> okay so you go in there okay so what else now i got a pajama set actually my mom got me this one so that's a nice pajama set that i was wearing back home i probably even shared the picture that's one piece that's a second piece and that's the third one so very warm and it has a little cute hoodie quick 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 so i think that our pajamas quality especially winter pajamas is really nice back home and i just wanted something to remind me of my mom in back home so um she gave me this set my mom gave me this set you know what i mean okay so you stand there it has to be clean because i was wearing it all the time so other than that, it's my clothes, my clothes. What is this? Oh, that's my favorite part. That is olive oil. So that's olive oil in a Hawaii bottle. So this is a real pure version olive oil. Uh, some of my family members, including my uncle and my dad, they would go and buy olives pick them on their own and take them to place we call it masara where they are squeezed and they are there watching all of the operations to make sure everything is clear and proper and this one is really really good i wish i could have brought more uh, it tastes the taste is very strong very pure it's 100 percent different than what i get here most of the time so i'm very excited to you know just use it for cooking and uh, i'll see how long it's going to last but usually couple of months I use uh, olive oil a lot for cooking either olive oil or uh, coconut oil so I don't think this is going to last for a long time but it's nice to have so that's olive oil my mom said oh I have five liters for you and I was like wait what I can't bring five liters so this bottle is how many probably one and a half yeah one and a half liters so yeah five liters that would be too much okay the next one is raw honey oh it's a mess i knew it i was telling my mom that uh, that was not sealed very well so i'm not going to open it right now because that's going to be not very fun but this is a bottle of raw honey uh, very good and high quality every time i go to morocco i don't really care about anything as much as i care about olive oil and honey these are my top two favorite things to get from from home i do purchase manuka honey all of the time but this is obviously cheaper and also the quality is really nice okay let's see what else Ooh, getting warm and thirsty mm. this tea is cold right now i need to go warm up but okay more stuff this was also a gift from some of my relatives that I didn't even get to see. What a shame. I mean, 10 days, you can't see everyone. But this is a head wrap that I really like. So usually when uh, we take a shower and you have a, a wet hair, you would use this one as a head wrap just to keep all of your wet hair in. This is handmade and the, the person that I know, she makes them. 
at home so i think she got me three of them she made three of them for me i gave one to my mom and i brought this one with me a white one with some uh, silver lines and then this one is white with the blue and silver lines i really love them these head wraps are perfect and for some reason if you just want to leave your hair to to air dry on its own this is perfect it just absorbs all of the moisture i don't know what the reason is behind it or what the science is behind it but they work perfectly fine okay next up you guys get to see the mess that i have here oh yeah let's hope that it didn't break okay i wrapped it between uh, my jacket so that it doesn't break yay it's still there so this is what we call in Morocco a tangia. If you go to Marrakesh, it's their specialty. You definitely should try a tangia dish. So this is a, a pottery piece, that's the tangia. We put some meat inside with some spices, cover it, and they usually cook it underground. So um, I don't know how I'm going to do it here. I'm gonna try to come up with something. I know that uh, my mom and dad back home, they have their own ways to make a tangia at home. And I did already share a reel on my Instagram. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I've never cooked in a tangia before and I never had or owned one. So this is pretty exciting. And I'm still happy that it didn't break because I was a little bit nervous about it. Okay, so that's that. It's just my jacket. Whew. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. Is this too much or is this common? Especially for those of you who go, who are from Morocco and they go to Morocco regularly. Do you think this is a reasonable amount of purchases or did I go crazy? Okay, my favorite part. Another favorite part. This is a robe that I bought. Uh, I think that's the towel piece. It's three pieces. Uh, there's the robe and then there are two towels with some uh, dentelles so very cute so that's the little towel that's the big towel and then there is a robe um i had one here but i feel like the towel was not as nice this was definitely a better quality so i bought one and uh, i'm excited to to try it that's the robe with the, this broderie right here i don't know if it's really handmade i don't really care all i cared about is the quality of the towel so yeah that's the that's another purchase that I got for myself from back home. Okay, so we have a few more things and I promise we're almost done. I do want to show you this and get it out of the way because it's got some tea and I don't need a mess here. I've got a new tea pot to add to my collection. I think I probably have three or four with different sizes, but I am a crazy tea drinker. So a little tiny one does not work for me. So I was telling my mom, you know what? I just need a bigger size. And she offered me this one. This is her uh, teapots. I didn't have time to go and get one. So I got my mom's and it's really nice. Um, as I said, it's got some tea right now. And yeah, it tastes good so far. And I think this new design that they have in Morocco is also cute. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's see how much we have left. Probably three or four items. Yeah, let's talk about the, the soapy soapy thing that I was talking about earlier. So with the, the scrubby things that I mentioned, this is the soap that we usually apply on our body. This is my first time bringing it to the US. And I was really concerned. I was concerned that when they're going to do bad shit, they say, what is this? What the heck is this? Um, let me open it for you. But they didn't, they didn't check my bag. So that worked really nice. I got one kilo of it. In Morocco, we call it sabun. Sabun, like soap. Bildi. Sabun bildi. Ta-da! Okay, that shouldn't happen here, but it's just... A soapy cream that's inside this plastic bag I got one kilo of it which I think it's too much but I need to do more scrubbing for this skin to look good so that's that and uh, it's definitely something that you need to store very very well so I had it in a plastic bag in a box in a bag um, I think so far everything stayed nice except for the honey and I kind of knew it because the lid was not very well secured, but I'm glad that I had a plastic bag outside. Okay, what else in here? By the way, this luggage is going to trash. It's, it's done. It's uh, 
served its purpose and I think it's time for it to go. Um, this is a nice traditional dress that my mom gave me. I love, love, love the color. I don't really know. This is probably something to wear for occasions. But uh, I love this, uh, this, uh, not tissue, this material we call it, Jauhara. Jauhara, Jauhara. So this is my mom's. Uh, one of my relatives gifted me one, but I didn't have time to go to the tailor and get it ready and prepared within 10 days. So instead, I gave that one to my mom and then I, she gave me this one. It smells like my mom's. And yeah, so that's that. And the last one, hopefully, hopefully, I think it's the last one. It's a jilaba. It's the traditional wear for men and women. And can you believe it? I got this one custom made for me in less than 10 days. And I think the person who did the job, I just wanna give him a hug or something, but I didn't have a chance to even see him and say thank you. But he made or custom made this one handmade in less than 10 days. And uh, if you guys are over on my Instagram, this is the one that I was wearing in one of the pictures that I took in my grandparents' house. Um, it's got a little hoodie and then uh, this type of, uh, uh, it's not brodery, what is this called? Called this, uh, I don't know, how do we call it? Uh, this style, this style of, uh, it's not brodery, what is this called? However this is called, it's called the uh, Bushman. The style is called Bushman. So yeah, so he took my, my size and everything or the measures that he needed and then he made it in, in 10 days. I still have to iron it. They didn't have time to iron it for me, but I really, really love it. I love the color. That's the only jilaba that I have right now. So I'm very happy that I have one. All right, oof, I'm sweating. Um, I think all of this is probably just my clothes. Yeah, just my clothes. As you can see, I didn't pack much because I didn't stay for so long. Oh, there's one more thing. I think it's the last thing. These are some coasters for the bedside tables. I got two of them and uh, they say Morocco. I needed them anyways and I thought that a nice touch from Morocco would be so very cute and sweet. Yeah, so this is everything that I got from Morocco. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel and if you happen to be going to Morocco soon and you have any questions or doubts about travel restrictions and what to expect on your way to Morocco and once you get to Morocco, I have two videos that I'm going to leave in the description box. You can check them out and you will see my experience start to finish. And also, do let me know in the comments, do you guys think that I bought a lot of things from Morocco? Tell me what is your favorite thing to get from Morocco when you're going back home or if you are visiting Morocco for the first time, what is one thing that you definitely want to purchase? Thank you again for watching guys, I really enjoyed putting this video together, I enjoyed the filming process too, it just got me a little bit nostalgic and happy just to relive some of those moments that I spent just picking things and wrapping them and so on. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you very soon, bye!